Yo, ladies and gents, welcome to the journalistdj.com. Uh, next to me, I have Ora Spingrovu. Oh my gosh, you know my surname. Yo, I know everything, you know, I know everything. <laughs> but today, you know, because the first time on the platform, mm. we're here to introduce you. So yeah, Raspi, you know, uh, tell my people out there about, you know, who you are, where you're from, and what do you do? Hey guys, so... As he's said, I'm Raspin Lovu. I'm from Mpangeni. It's a small, cool town in KZN. I'm a singer-songwriter, and uh, I'm, a, I'm a, I don't know. I don't know what else I am. Influential. What? I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. You are influential, you know. Um, I mean, I've been following you on social media. Uh, but yeah, man, you know, I, I, I know you've been at it for a while, you know, pushing... Mm -hmm pushing the music thing. Am I correct by saying that, you know, Sondela is your first breakout song? Yeah, it is. Um, I started out with R&B. Uh, it did push, but it, I, it, nothing got where Sondela got. So I really can say that this is that song for me. And what do you think, uh, you know, it is about this song, Sondela, that's so special that makes, you know, people stream it a million times on Apple, on Spotify, people buying 10,000 units. What, what's so special about Sondela? I think it's because everyone sang from the heart and wrote from the heart and we, we didn't walk in with the thing of uh, this has to be a hit and with the pressure that's going on right now, you don't need that pressure in the studio. So we all just went in there with the good energy and we just wanted to make good music that I think people can, can feel what we felt when we're making the song. Mm. And you know, obviously being a vocalist, I can imagine um, you know, when the song blew up, I mean obviously a lot of people know you uh we you know like you said earlier on you've been in the music game but i can imagine now a lot of um ama piano and hip-hop producers are approaching you to work with you my question is you know how how does one get to work with raspy firstly hip-hop and piano y'all are stressing me out because you see being versatile that's the problem it's so stressful but i'm really grateful we'll see yeah approach easy take instagram if your energy is dope we will work. Nami in Lela that I started working with everyone else that I'm working with now. I think it's just an energy thing, you know. So if you energy akin to Embu and you do by Boa Sevens, it is there's no hectic process. But tell me about your sound moving forward. Like what's the focus now? My sound is the raspy sound. I don't think anyone sings like me. I think I'm I'm very I'm soulful, but also in every, in anything I do, whether it's hip hop, whether it's whatever. And that's what I'm sticking to. I see it works for me. That's what I'm sticking to. You know, um, I, I, I was speaking to Shishiliza and, and Venom and, and, and Blackie, you know, and I was asking them, you know, about Ricky, like, you know, um, you know, how has it been, like, since, since losing, like, you know, the big brother in the industry? Um, you know, you being a vocalist and being someone that's featured on the song with, you know, someone that had a high profile like him. What, you know, what, what does that mean for you and how are you going to honor his legacy moving forward? You know, in the last live we had, he said he knows I've got a hundred more hits in me and I'm just going to work till y'all get all the hundred hits. Wow. Can't wait to hear the hundred hits. Yo. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> okay, since, since the hundred tunes come in, are there, you know, do you have any dates uh, or, or, or any plans that we should know about music-wise? This year I expect something, uh, very soon actually, uh, before May, I expect something. Ladies and gents, you heard it here first on TheJournalistDJ.com, before May, Raspi is dropping <laughs> something. So yeah man, thank you so much for your time. Man. Thank you so much for having me. Danko!